excavation squares that you just saw um, uh, excavations underway in with uh, uh, with our first stop on the tour. <laughs> and at the surface at which I'm on which I'm standing, um, uh, when we get to this point, underneath. Um, uh, deposits that have been disturbed by plowing and other earth moving activities in recent history. We clean off the surface with trowels, with sharpened mason trowels. And um, that enables us to see the, the, the differences in soil color and texture that, that, you, that you're looking at here. Let me point out a few things that you're looking at in the ground. Many of you can probably uh, recognize there are lots of small dark circular stains some of which have bits of charcoal in them, some of which have bits of, of burned clay and so forth in them. And many of these are marked with orange flagging tape. Um, those are post holes. When uh, a log post driven straight into the ground rots, it leaves a stain in the soil. Um, sometimes we find uh, pieces of the wooden posts actually in them, but often we just see the stains in the soil. Again, we're looking for differences in soil color and texture. Um, and currently, there's no particular pattern in these post holes that's jumping out at us. But uh, we've been excavating out here since the year 2001, and there were uh, excavations for one season back in 1986. And when we put our maps of what's found in different excavation squares together within our site grid, um, then we can start looking for patterns. Uh, so a lot of these uh, um, stains marked with orange flagging tape are, are post holes. Um, and there's a really good example of a post hole um, right here in this cluster of pottery. This is um, a, a very interesting uh, cluster of aboriginal clay pottery. Um, and How about these. This for time? Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, this, uh, this cluster of sherds um, first appeared when we were carefully shoveling down to the bottom of this excavation unit. And then when we trowel, when we, we clean it off with the trowel, um, uh, we started seeing um, uh, the edges of some of these birds. <coughs> and, and I came over here and I looked at them and I thought, those are rocks. And then they cleaned off a little bit more and, and, and sure enough, um, uh, they turned out to be pottery. And then we cleaned it a little bit more with these trowels and look at all these shirts. These are all from a single vessel and this will be a reconstructable vessel. And is Emma still here? Emma uh, and Dub, where's Dub? Mm -hmm. Emma has been uh, Emma has been supervising excavations over here. She's a student at Warren Wilson 